And we're back, Adventure Blur here. IDW Sonic Issue 8 is out. With the return of Silver and the introduction of Whisper, I have a lot to discuss. So let's discuss it, and let's get started. This issue felt a little... small. It feels like a good issue overall though. But outside of introducing Whisper and the reveal at the end, it didn't add much to the table, at least compared to the last few issues. I can't quite decide my opinions on this. On one hand, the series doesn't need to be, and it shouldn't be, a giant battle every other week. At the same time though, it feels like it just was a stepping stone between issue 7's hype and the madness that will be issue 9. Whisper was also a mixed bag for me. I'll get into this later when I go over spoilers. But she seemed like an interesting character, but it just didn't give us much about her. Compared to the last two introductions of new characters, Rough and Tumble and Tangle, she seems like the weakest one character-wise. I feel like I've been overly negative on this issue so far, and I don't mean to be, because this issue has quite a bit going for it. The perfect example being Silver. You guys might not know this, but Silver is actually one of my favorite Sonic characters, and I could argue being one of my favorite game characters as well. He has such an interesting and highly underused personality in history that makes him compelling to learn about, and excited to see when he does show up in games or comics. And in this issue, Silver once again steals the show. He was great to see being paired up with Sonic again, and his remarks were both deep and pretty funny. This is a very light spoiler, but I just love how Silver is such a fanboy of Whisper. Whoever thought of that deserves a raise. Now onto some larger spoilers. If you haven't read the issue yet and don't want it spoiled, then go to the time shown on the screen for my final verdict on the issue. Seeing as Whisper is the biggest part of the issue, I feel like I should discuss her first, and well... I feel kinda underwhelmed. I mean, yeah, her backstory that Silver explains is really cool, and she has an awesome fight at the end, but that's it. She says a total of three words in the entire issue. I get that Whisper's shy, but still, it makes it difficult to really understand her and her character. I don't mind that she's quiet or anything like that. I just want to know her more. Like, how did she get the Wisps to work with her, stuff like that. Now, they did drop a hint that they're going to go deeper with Whisper's backstory, and I am hyped for that because it sounds epic. But right now, it just feels like we have a new character with a great design, and a really great setup for a history for that character. And that's it. As I said earlier, compared to Tangle and Rough and Tumble, Whisper is the weakest one character-wise. Hopefully this will change soon. In fact, I would be shocked if it doesn't. Then there's the greatest part of the issue and one of the best parts of the series as a whole, Silver. Silver was great to see again and every time he says something, you knew it was going to be good. I enjoyed how he talks about the war and his role in it, and also about his future. Outside of 06, we never knew much about Silver's future outside of the fact that it always goes downhill every time he tries to fix it. There's also a moment with Silver when he mentions how he's used to being alone. I loved this. This gave even more depth to Silver, and Silver gets a bad rep by a lot of people, so showing them how deep of a character he is was definitely a good call by the writers. Silver's a fanboy whisper. I still can't get over that. I love it so much, and I don't know what else to add to it, so... That's a thing. And he also takes everything literally. I won't deny it, they got a really good laugh out of me with this. Easter egg wise, this issue has a great amount. The writer snuck in, not only You're Too Slow, but also, come on, step it up. On the first page alone, outside of those classic memes, Arsenal Pyramid, or at least a base looking similar to it, makes an appearance. Really, this issue just has a lot of nods to forces and mentions the plot of the game a ton. There's also a brief reference to Sonic Colors as well, in which Sonic mentions how he saved the Wisp. Then there's another E100 robot in the issue. I think this is the first time I remember seeing a new E100 since I think Sonic Battle. We don't know its number or anything like that, but it is a similar model to the repurposed E-105 Zeta. Unfortunately, you can't find any Dreamcast on the side of this one, like you could with Zeta. Now, 
Let's talk about that ending. Okay, there's three things I want to talk about. One, Silver and Whisper may be teaming up, and that ought to be a really cool story, especially if they team up with Blaze and Tangle later on. Second, not only has Melisonic reached Angel Island, but he has completely taken it over. I assumed that there would have been more resistance against him taking it, but oh well. We know that everyone is going after Melisonic's army next issue, and I can't wait to see how this turns out. If anything, I wonder how Eggman will fit into it. He still has amnesia, but it's only a matter of time until he remembers everything. So seeing him go against Sonic and the others out of nowhere would make for a great twist that I hope happens. And finally, there's Silver's future that he mentioned. I'm not sure what to think of this. This could be a hint at a new game, or even the Sonic movie next year. But it could also have something to do with Melisonic's takeover of Angel Island. I have no idea what it could be, but this is something to keep an eye out for. I give this issue an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Honestly, this was a tough issue to rate. I don't really know why, but it took me a while to decide on this rating. This issue had a lot going for it, but still felt like a big setup issue. The issue didn't do anything mind-blowing outside of setting up the next big fight. Silver was amazing as always. Whisper was really interesting, had some great moments, but it lacks character development. And probably the biggest problem with the entire issue is that you can skip this issue and hand to issue 9 without any problems. This issue just felt like a filler episode of a TV show. It just wasn't needed. And when you have a comic series, the last thing you want is for it to be defined as filler. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and share it with others. Comment below what you think of the issue, Whisper, and what you think will happen next. Check out some of my other videos as well. Follow me on Twitter and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And, as always, this is Adventure Blur, and I will see you next time.